In this video, I'll show you how to draw on your videos, which is a cool new fun dimension that you can add to all of your videos. Let's get into it. So what you're going to need to make this work is obviously a camera to record yourself, a tablet. I've got a, an old iPad Air 2, I believe it is here that I'm going to use. Uh, it doesn't have to be one of the new ones. Um, and a stylus. Okay. Uh, this is a generic stylus. It's not the, uh, the new Apple Pencil. Uh, it would be better if I had that, but it'll work just fine with one of these generic ones as well. Um, not battery powered at all. So an old iPad, a stylus, a camera, and also drawing software. So on the iPad, I need to have an app in there where I can draw. I'm going to use GoodNotes and I'll load it up right here. So GoodNotes is one I like to use. Uh, you can set the background color to whatever you like. And what's great about Camtasia is you can remove any color. In some apps, you, you have to have the background be green, for instance, like a green screen, so that you can remove that. So I'm gonna use this black, and I've already set up my uh, tablet background to be 16 by nine ratio. So specifically 1920 by 1080 in pixels. That way this will layer directly onto my video when I go to put it all together. As far as other apps you could use, you could use Keynote, or Microsoft Whiteboard is a good one. Uh, Procreate is a drawing app that you could use. Basically any app that allows you to draw on the screen um, and where you can set the background color to a solid color that you can remove later. So once you have all that, what you need to do is press record on your camera, and I'm already recording. Uh, record on your audio as well. So I'm recording through my mic here, and I've got that recording through my computer. And then on your iPad or tablet, you want to screen record. So on the iPad, all I do is I pull down here and then I can click this record button there. And then there's a countdown and now I'm recording my screen. So once everything's recording, you can go ahead and record your video. So just as an example, hello, this is a video on how to draw on your iPad and have it show up in your video. So I can draw like this, draw on video, I can change the colors and I can draw maybe a sun, a happy smiling sun like this. We can change to a blue color and maybe draw some waves, some water, uh, and then maybe a, a pink color and just do some coloring in the edges like this. Okay, and you can use this to maybe highlight things if you want to present something, uh, highlight anything you want on the video. And then when you're finished, just stop recording on the camera and the audio. And let's go ahead here and stop the screen recording on the iPad. And now we've got everything we need. The next step is we have to get the recording from the iPad into the computer. Now on an iPad, this is probably different on a tablet if you're using an Android type of tablet, but on an iPad, you simply go to your photos section and you highlight what you want to send and you can do an airdrop. I'm using a MacBook so I can easily airdrop from my iPad to my laptop. If you don't have a Mac, then you can probably plug your uh, tablet into your computer and then transfer the file over that way. So with the recordings finished and the file transferred to the computer, the next step is to jump into Camtasia. Okay, so through the power of video editing, I've already extracted the, the video file off my camera onto my computer, as well as the audio and the iPad recording. So all three of those things are on my computer I've got Camtasia open, so let's go grab those files. Let's go ahead and drag all three. So we'll start with the audio file, bring that in, and the iPad recording is here, and then the camera file is here. Okay, and the iPad recording is being converted to a proxy video, which is great. That'll make it easier to work with. Uh, now let's go ahead and bring these down to the timeline. Let's start with the Let's start with the audio file. We'll bring that down here. And then the video file. 
and then we have the iPad recording. Now you notice the recording, the iPad recording is much smaller than the other two. That's because the other two files, they are actually the recording of the first half of this video as well. Um, whereas the iPad, you saw me start that recording. Now we have to sync them all up. So these first two are gonna be easy because we can sync them by their audio waveforms, okay? What you wanna do is get them close and then you can zoom in and then just give it a listen to see if it sounds like they are synced. As far as other apps you could use. Okay, that looks pretty good. If they're out of sync, you'll hear a bit of an echo. As far as, as, far other, as other apps. apps you could... Okay, so, but with them synced up, I think that looks about right. As far as other apps you could use. I believe that's right. When you've got that synced, then you can right click the video track, which is the top one here and click on silence audio. So we only have the good audio um, remaining. As far as other apps you could Okay, great. Now we need to sync up the iPad. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's zoom out here and let's look at this iPad and try to see where it begins. So I started drawing right here. Okay, I'm gonna put a little marker on that. Let's change this to marker. And I'm going to drop a marker right there. And that's just, and I'm going to type uh, beginning. Okay, so that's the beginning of the drawing. Okay, now let me zoom in. Actually, what will make it easier, if I highlight both of these, right click and group them, okay, then I only have to deal with that one track. So let's move this down here. Uh, and now let's try to get a sense for where this should be. I'm mostly listening to the audio. Here, let's make this track a little bit larger so we can hear the audio. The next step is we have to get the recording from the iPad. Okay, so at that point, I've already done the recording. For this iPad one, let's drop the opacity a little bit so I can see what I'm doing. Okay, this might help. It actually also would have helped if I brought in the other footage from my other camera here. Um, because that is the camera that was looking right at my hand drawing on the iPad, but presumably you won't have that other angle. You may only have the one camera, so I want to show you how to sync it up with that. So you kind of have to watch the video to see when I started to draw. So probably here, let's give that a listen. A video on how to draw on your iPad and have it show up in your video. So I can draw... Okay, that looks like I started to draw there, and I believe it looks like I took two strokes. So maybe right around there. Let's see if that seems to be synced up. On your iPad and have it show up in your video. So I can draw like this. Draw on video. I can change the colors, and I can draw maybe a sun, a happy smile. Okay, that appears to be synced up very well. Okay, so now let's work with this iPad video. So, in fact, we don't want the rest of the, the beginning of this. Let's hear what this has to say right here. So, one, so once you have all that, what you need to do is press record on your camera. Okay, let's just start it there. We'll cut off the beginning of all of that. Okay, and let's just kind of get organized here. I'm going to hold down shift, drag the playhead back. So that is our video, and we have this in the right place. I'm going to double click here and place a marker right there so I don't lose where that, where that begins. Okay, so we've got that place where we want to. Now let's work with this. Let's bring the opacity back up. Okay, now we want to isolate this area. Remember when I said that I created the drawing area that was exactly 16 by 9 in, in ratio, in aspect ratio? So that should fit perfectly. But in order to make it fit, what we're going to want to do is first crop into that. So let's click on the crop tool here and we'll drag this down and we'll crop it just like that. And let's drag this up and crop. Okay, actually, I'm going to want to turn off. Uh, canvas snapping to make this a little bit easier and I can also use my mouse wheel to zoom in. Okay, we'll crop this up like that. Let's zoom back out. And how do the sides look? Does that look... Uh, 
Doesn't look like I really have to crop into the sides there. Maybe just a little bit there. Okay, now let's fit that to the screen. So there's our new size. Let's turn our canvas snapping back on. Let's uh, turn cropping off. Let's go back to the selection tool. And now let's reposition this over top of our video. Now, as you can probably guess, the last step here is to go up to visual effects right here in the, in the left-hand menu. And we wanna scroll down until we see remove a color. Click on that and drag it onto either the canvas here or onto the iPad video right here. Okay, now nothing's happened because we have to set the color. Okay, so we, th that is our video. You can see the video. All right, and now if we come over here, we can click on the remove, a, on, under remove a color, we can click on the color here and let's click on this eyedropper and let's select this as the color to remove and presto, there we go. The color is removed and our drawing is now on the video. Okay, now a couple other things. If you notice here, we can zoom in. If you zoom in, you might see it a little bit better. But notice how we have all these black marks around the drawing. All we have to do to fix that is under remove a color, see this tolerance of, uh, property here? Let's just click on this and just adjust that until it, until it looks better. So I think we have to drag the tolerance all the way that way. And then the softness, we can drag that out as well. Okay, let's see what that looks like. I think that looks much better. So we can, let's make this fit here and let's go ahead and play this. I can click this record button there and then there's a countdown and now I'm... Now, you can see here that there was a part of the, uh, the video that I took that I don't want to actually capture and have draw on the screen here. Let's go until, actually, yeah, right, right, right here where I said beginning, that's where it's actually going to begin. So let's just back up here a little bit, okay, and then we will click there, press the S key, highlight that, and delete it, okay, so that way we only have show up in your this video. Part. So I can draw like this, draw on video. I can change the colors and I can draw maybe a sun, a happy smiling sun like this. We can change to a blue color and maybe draw some waves, some water, uh, and then maybe a, a pink color and just do some coloring in the edges like this. If enough of the color is not getting through, simply go back to the remove a color and then just play with these uh, properties a little bit. Okay, so the softness, we bring that down and then you got the tolerance. Okay, it probably looks better right about there. Okay, there's also the hue, that just kind of changes the color a bit and the defringe. All of these things have a small effect on the way it looks. So I think that looks good there. And now something else you can do, if you want to um, bring a little more attention to the actual drawing, uh, what you can do is, let's just double click here. I'm going to drag this up. Let's give ourselves some more room. I'm going to drag this up and create room for two more tracks. And what we can do is come up to annotations, click on shapes. Okay, let's drag a rectangle shape down here and stretch it out over the duration of the drawing. Let's reposition it to cover the entire screen. And now we will go and in properties, we will change the color of this to black like this. Okay, and now we can bring the opacity down a little bit. Okay, so that kind of darkens uh, the actual video of myself. Uh, and that will allow the drawing to show up much better. Okay, and uh, what I also like to do is uh, come up here and grab a fade transition. And I'm gonna drop that at the beginning and the end of the shape, okay, so that uh, it fades it on show like up that. In your video. 
And in fact, that's a little too soon. So I can draw. So let's have it happen just as I'm about to start drawing. So right there. I can draw like this. Draw on video. Okay. And one last thing you can do is uh, also, it's in my favorites. It's right here, but I'll show you. If you go to annotations and click on the blur icon and grab this blur annotation, that's another subtle thing you can do to your video to make your drawings pop a little bit more. Once again, I'm going to drag the fade transition to the beginning and the end. That just went on the beginning, so let's bring it over to the end as well. Okay, let's move the blur so that it covers the entire video. And if that's too blurry, you know, you can adjust the, tra the uh, intensity over here. Okay, that's probably good. So again, the final look is this. For video. So I can draw like this, draw on, okay, and you can use and just do some coloring in the edges. Like and that's how you draw on your videos. Do you want more tips like this? Let me know in the comments below or come join me on Tuesdays in my live stream. I live stream every Tuesday at one o'clock Eastern here on YouTube, sharing my screen and doing how-to tutorials. I show you how I make my videos and I answer any questions you have live. So if you're looking to level up your videos, join me on Tuesdays. I'm Rob and I'll see you in the next video or in a live stream. I'll see you soon.